Okay. Good morning, everybody. This is Vince with listings to leads. And this is our Facebook class, Facebook ads to get buyer and seller leads in 30 seconds, which is it's fast, right? So I'm going to jump into that real quickly because I actually think, well, the market's changing a lot, obviously, since interest rates have moved. And so we've had a lot of calls for people who are finally starting to think about getting buyers again, right? We've always been here to help agents get both buyers and sellers. And whether you have listings or you don't have listings, we've got a great platform for you. But, um, you know, in the past few years, I don't know how many times I could tell you, I've heard agents say, I'm not worried about buyers because they could put a listing on the market. And it would be sold in a matter of days without them doing a whole lot. And clearly that's changed in, in our world, at least for, you know, maybe a year or something like that. So let's just jump real quickly into how do you run an app for a property to get buyers? You would want to get the listing in your listings page first. And then when you come here to create that, it says create listing app and all of your listings will be here. You, anything that you're running an ad for like for sale or active or open house or just listed, these are designed to get buyer leads. If you're running an ad on a home that's sold or in contract or pending, those call to actions are designed to get seller leads. So let me, what I did is I choose, chose an open house. I want to make sure I leave it on lead ads because I'm going to get name, email, and phone number. And I'm going to click create an ad here and the first thing you'll have to do is connect to your Facebook page. So mine is sponsored by listings to leads because I, you know, is what I'm connected to, but you're just going to be sponsored. Your ad's going to be sponsored by your business page. So in order to run this ad, all you got to do is click that button, right? Publish at the bottom left. And that's how you run an ad on Facebook. Now, if you've ever done this inside Facebook, you probably know there's like, I don't know, three or four pages and at least five or 10 or 12 boxes. You got to check to have an ad that's correct. That is honestly a moving target, how to correctly run an ad on Facebook. It's just because Facebook is always altering and tinkering with their website. So even if you knew how to run an ad last month, it probably is a different interface this month. In our system, we actually have the Facebook API. We have Facebook software embedded on this page and we can tell by what you're clicking, what you should be checking. So we have boiled it down to basically choose your property and publish. That's how easy it is to run a successful ad on listings to leads for Facebook. So I just wanted to jump in there first. And just because, you know, that's the name of the class. How do, how do we, how do we run an ad in 30 seconds? Pretty simple. Go to ads, decide what kind of ad you're going to run and go for it. Before I go further into the system, I want to talk about resources. There is a lot that listings to leads does. And you know, there are over 200 tools in the system. Now that can be kind of overwhelming to a lot of agents. They don't know where to start. Et cetera, et cetera. So I want to talk about what are the resources to help you understand our platform. And one good one is the mastermind group. It's a private group on Facebook. That means if you're not in it, you can't find it. Okay. So you actually go into your listing to leads account, go to the support page down here and ask them to add you to the group. There's a box there just asking to add, add you to the mastermind group. Now, one thing that we're going to talk about in just a minute is that Google ads is live. We got now this class is on Facebook, but we're definitely going to talk about Google because that's brand new functionality. But the, the great thing about the mastermind group is this is where Scott and I share what's happening, our latest classes, new technology. It's also where our clients share ideas of what they're doing, what they're thinking about, what's working for them, what's not working for them. So you can learn a lot here in the mastermind group. And honestly, to learn a lot, 
Well, to learn how to, how to use our platform, it's just going to help increase your business. There's just so many ways to do that. Now, another awesome resource, and this is kind of my favorite one here is our YouTube channel. Okay. So if you go to YouTube and you look for listings to leads and you come to our video page, you're going to see, well, you're going to see these classes that we're doing right now. Right. And also Scott's got a kind of a series, a webinar series of how to make a quarter million in real estate, which is really a high level discussion of all marketing. And honestly, if you're going to be in real estate, you really have to have a serious marketing strategy and that series will help you put that together. Now I do three training classes, which I rate, rotate through every two weeks. And one is getting started. And I did it two days ago. And I, honestly, you should check that out. If you haven't seen that in a while, because we've got a new listing presentation. It's awesome. Top tools to get more listings. Well, if you want more listings, you should probably watch that. Right. And then here, custom audiences on, on Facebook ads. These are the three classes that we rotate to. And, and today that's what we're talking about, right? Facebook. Let me put stop to that. So we're not getting any interruptions. So let's go back to the ads page and you see that there's a green button there that says new. Let's talk about what's new. Create a Google ad. That's like brand new. Okay. That was just launched. And so there's two kinds of ads that you can run. And I don't know what it's going to look. I'm just going to click on landing page ad. And it's going to say, connect your own account. So you create a limited seller and buyer ads for $30 a month, which is basically a mistake, <laughs> but we'll, we'll uh, let me explain to you. Oh yeah, there it is. This is $30 a month to, to access this part of the platform. It's a new feature in the platform, which allows you to run ads on Google. Okay. You still have to have an ad budget and over here. This will show you how to connect your, your ad account. I actually need to create an ad account on Google. I've never, never done that. But before we go further, and there's really not much more we can do because I need to create an ad account and connect that. I just want you to know it's there. Definitely ping support if you need help with that. But I want to show you one of the top trending searches in on Google right now. It is these three words, sell my home. Okay. And when you people go to Google now, it's important that you understand what Google is. It is the number one most trafficked website in the United States. Okay. Now people don't spend a lot of time on Google because they go find what they are looking for and they click on it and they leave Google. Right? So that's, that's what Google is. But by running an ad, when somebody runs a search, like someone, I mean, you see all these things that say ad, ad, ad. Well, you can actually be here. You can target people doing that search, sell my home in your area, in your zip code, stuff like that. And that's really a very powerful thing about, it. I will tell you this, Google leads typically cost more than Facebook leads. Okay. But a lot of people have said, and you may know this yourself, that Google leads convert faster than Facebook leads. So they're higher costs, but they turn into business fast, right? I think both are very valuable and I'll, and we'll, we'll get into uh, Facebook now. Facebook is a different kind of platform, right? Like Google, people don't spend hours on Google or a long time. They, they go what they're looking for. They get there, they click away and they're gone. Right. But on Facebook, people come here all day, right? They, well, they don't come here all day. They come here about 40 minutes a day. Okay. And they're sharing things that they like. They're sharing pictures of the food they eat. Here's my friends, you know, been married and they're sharing those great things. You know, the travel, all kinds of stuff here, but here we see an ad. Okay. And this is an ad from the local basketball team. And that's what is going on is while people are just surfing around, checking out the latest band that that's coming or whatever, or seeing your pets, Facebook is slipping ads in there. Okay. Right here on the news feed. And when you run an ad, like create a listing ad, and this time we'll do a property that is sold. 
We leave it on lead ad so that we're getting name, email, and phone number. When we do that, you see, again, yours is going to be sponsored by your business page. Mine is sponsored by listings to leads. You see this one, it's sponsored by Golden State Warriors, right? And then here it says shop now, shop now. If I click shop now, it's going to take me to the Warriors shopping page where I can buy t-shirts. Here it's going to say learn more. I don't know if you can see it. So the bottom right says learn more. And when they click that, this little chat panel pops up over here and it says, would you like more information? And there's only one answer. It's yes. And their name and email and phone number from their own profile is already populated on that page. So for them to submit it, they got to give you that information. And that's why our clients love Facebook ads because they're getting leads of name, email, and phone number, right? So that's like the simplest way to think about Facebook is the, the first thing I, I'd like to tell you is if you're not getting leads with phone number, you better start using our, our uh, ad creator here because every time you run an ad, you're going to get leads with phone numbers. Now this one is sold. So this is actually going to get offer people a fair deal back, right? So when you get that lead, go into our system, get a home value lot, and they finish, drop in their app information and get them a home value, right? And then the app will back to the right? So you can also run ads on, let's go to PDF guy. So you may not know this, but we've got almost 80 PDF guidance guides that okay, app for sellers, All right? Now you may not want to talk about or maybe the, these days, but you can that you want to do. Now, let me click on this and it'll show you we're going we're to see the seller one just low here. When we do this, there's a white button at the top left of it. We're the thumbs, we're going to the PDF guides, and that's where you can actually download it. Right. So let's see your five dangers of overpricing, right? How to sell your market and it has to sell your home in a changing market, right? These are all topical relevant stuff, but there are a lot of ideas here. And, and, and I think one of the things you have to think about it is you need to be a resource for the, re for your community as a real, and, and if you download any of these reports, you're going to notice that you are branded on every page of every report, right? And there are a lot of topics we can see there's some for buyers and some for sellers. And that's really important for you because now you can set yourself up and be, you know, a knowledge base. To run an ad, all you do is hover over the, the whatever, you know, report you want, create an app. And uh, this will populate it. We'll get back to kind of do it to the thing. It's going to write the app for you. It's going to be already embedded. We'll see in just a second. It's taking a little longer. I don't know. Isn't that a problem? Can you hear me over there? I'm wondering if they're going to take a look over here real quick. It might be an extra second to do this. It's going to write the ad. There we go. And in this case, you type in the name of the city that you want. Right. So it's not too hard to run an ad. Frankly, if you wanted to run an ad and have people download it <laughs> inside Facebook, good luck. It is so hard to do. Here, you've got a $50 budget for seven days and people can download this. Okay. Now I want you to understand, I'm going to talk a little bit about cost per lead. I, I mentioned it earlier related to the Google ads. And I said, Google ads, Google leads can cost you more, but Facebook sets the price on, on leads. Okay. So if you're running an ad and this one is for homeowners, right? So if you're trying to get listing leads from Facebook, well, first of all, Facebook charges you more for listing leads than it does for buyer leads, right? They kind of know that realtors want that more. So they're going to charge you more. So a $50 ad. What do you expect to pay per lead, right? And what it is on average, it's about $10 a lead, the name, email, and phone number, 
So if you got $50 here, you can expect around five leads, maybe more, maybe less, right? Because it's about on average five, ten dollars a week. What I do want you to know is that's the average. Okay. And depending on where you are, and I think on the competition, your leads can cost more or less. All right. And let's just keep that in mind. So that's running a PDF guide ad for, for listing leads, right? And I showed you, I'm going to go do it again. Let's run an ad for property that's sold. Because when we do that, the call to action is that affects your home bag. So get your free home bag. So we're trying to get listing leads again, same $50, same seven day ad, but now Facebook doesn't charge you as much for this lead. Okay. On average, it's around six fifty to $7 a lead when you run a sold ad. Okay. It's still telling you, you, you want a pre home value, you know, but that's what it is. I want to also show you that if you create an ad on a property that is pending or under contract. Let's just do this in contract real quick. Wait, this ad is also designed to get you listing leads. And we've had clients come back to us this summer and say, they're running lead, they're running ads with the same $50, but getting seller leads for $2 and 40 cents each. Okay. So are you understanding that, you know, you're going to get more leads if they're $2 and 40 cents? as opposed to $10 a lead, right? Same 50 bucks. It's just what's, you know, what's the cost per lead. Facebook changes that and, I, and I'm going to show you one more thing and then we'll talk a little bit more about cost per lead. You can also run ads on landing pages. Okay. All kinds of landing pages, buyer landing pages, custom buyer landing pages, custom seller landing pages, but one that's very popular is running landing pages on home values. Okay. And home values are tricky. Okay. But I want to make it clear when you run an ad like this, like click here to get your free home value. I don't know if you recognize this because I don't know how long you've been in real estate, but this kind of ad and this kind of tool has been available to agents for probably around 10 years, maybe even a little longer. And a lot of agents have used it, right? There, we're not the only company with this kind of landing page. There's Boomtown, we used to be price seller leads and phone values. I don't even know if those companies exist anymore. I know Boomtown out there, but, but the point is Facebook knows this is a valuable ad and a valuable lead to rep realtors. So they charge the most for these leads. So again, the same. $50 ad, same seven day ad, right? And you do got to type in the name of your town again, right? I'm going to type in Pleasant Hill because this one is about Pleasant Hill, but because Facebook knows that this is a very valuable lead to you, they often charge anywhere from 12 to $15 a lead. Now it's not horrible, right? I mean, you think about it, it's a homeowner and you're getting their name, email, phone number. It's not horrible, but. It's how many leads do you want, right? I actually think running an ad like this is good just for your branding. Cause when you run a $50 ad, a thousand, 2000 people might see this ad, right? They're going to know that you can offer home values. Ideally you're running multiple ads, like one or two every week, because people spend a lot of time on Facebook and you want them to know you're a realtor. So if you're running PDF guide ads, you're running, Hey, I've got an open house. Hey, I just listed. Hey, I can help you get your home value. Well, that's really what advertising is about, right? We definitely, you know, we focus on capturing leads here and we're really good at it, but for your business, you want more business. You want more people to know that you are a realtor, right? So that's, those are the kinds of leads. And we, we focus right now on the cost of seller leads. I also want to focus on, are, are there any questions about what we've spoken about so far with this? I want to show you, go up, feel free to put them in the chat panel. I want to show you that this kind of ad can very often not work for people. 
Okay. So it's a $50 ad. It's about an area and it's designed to get seller leads and very often doesn't work. So I want to talk to you a little bit right now about why that doesn't work. And I'm going to do, to show you, I'm going to show you a tick slide champ. I'm going to show you the reality of, you know, the world. Okay. When we run an ad, you cannot tighten. You can't target tighter than a 15 mile radius. That's the first problem. Okay. And it's, it's a, because if I go look at this map right here, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little white area here in the center of this map. This is Pleasantville. Okay. There's about 30,000 people who live in Pleasantville and from left to right, from east to west, it's about two to three miles. And from north to south, it's about four miles. Okay. But this ad is going to run in a 15 mile radius. So what's going on? What does that mean? Well, that means that everybody you can see in this map right here, every city, all these people can see my ad. And that's not really what I want to do. That's not really targeting that I want to achieve, but you know, Facebook has had some serious problems with, because discriminatory ads have been run by realtors. So they're going to make it impossible for you to target. Okay. So I do want to tell you, and I mentioned it earlier that we often, we have all of our training here on this video, on, on this page on YouTube. And if you go look over here somewhere, it's about three months ago, let me see if I can find it. New strategy to get high quality listing leads from Facebook. Okay. Right here. And best way to get listings from Facebook. These two classes, I kind of go in depth about how to make this ad work again. And let me give you the short story and you can go watch that video if you want more listing lead. I, I think that doing it on Facebook is cheaper and easier, but you need to know how to do it correctly. Otherwise it may not work for you. So what you do is you get a list of homeowners. Okay. You get a list of homeowners from Remine or HomeSnap or whatever, maybe your title partner. And you get them for, for, for Pleasant Hill and you go over here where it says create audience and click that button. You create a list that says Pleasant Hill homeowners or whatever. You upload the list here and you import it. That list will now become a custom audience in your personal private Facebook account. It won't live in listings deletes. It'll be in your Facebook account. And you will then be able to retarget to, to target it. This right here, when I'm hovering over, it says use this format. This is what your spreadsheet should look like. Email number, first name, last name. So you're getting that from whatever resource you have available to you. And then you come over here and you upload it. I, I've talked to a lot of real fairs and to do that inside Facebook takes I, I, I was talking to somebody a couple of weeks ago. It took him an hour and this guy is a seasoned Facebook ad runner. He knows Facebook it took him an hour to create a custom audience. It takes like maybe a minute. You will need to get the, the longest thing will be for you to get your spreadsheet in the right format, which is showing right here. That's probably what's going to take you the most amount of time. But once you do that and you say, well, now I want to go run a PDF guide ad and I want it to be for sellers. Well, we'll click this real quickly. And here's one divorce on real estate. I'm just going to click that. And I click divorce in real estate. Cause that's going to probably trigger a sale, right? I can type in pleasant hill, but I can also click this button down here that says retarget current leads. And it says custom audiences. What custom audience do you want? Now I'm just going to type in L to L just to give you an idea. We, we actually, if you're using our custom audiences, we create a custom audience of all your leads. Okay. And so you can just go what, right there and do that. But had you been targeting Pleasant Hill or targeting whatever city you are doing, you would, this ad would run in front of those people when you decided, you know, when you, when you use that feature. It's a very powerful way of targeting an area. And I definitely recommend that. So these are kind, 
the kinds of ads that you can run for Facebook, right? Let's go back and see if we can get there. You can run listing ads for our just listed coming soon, open house. You know, you're going to get leads and name, email, and phone number. You can run listing ads for pending sold under contract. You know, you're going to get names of leads and name, email, and phone number. You can run landing page ads either for buyers or for sellers. And also you can run all the PDF guide ads that, that I showed. I do want to say one thing though, about landing pages that every once in a while, a realtor tries and they don't get great results. And I want to help you understand that. You, first of all, the landing pages over here, there's a landing page section. You can create unlimited landing pages. Okay. And one of the things that people like to do is create a custom landing page for an area, for an area, for buyers. Okay. Now I haven't customized this, but you can do that by going to landing page and dropping it down to custom landing page for buyers and then naming it. And then you get this kind of landing page that you can, uh, you customize. I have a custom landing page here for buyers and it's got a video in the back. And what I want to explain is what you don't want to do is you don't want to create a landing page for your town and say, sign up for a free list of homes in my town, right? Because the internet, the internet has been around for a while and most people know I don't need to spill something out and just go right over the internet and type in Alamo homes or sale. I'm going to see all kinds of companies putting that there and I don't have to sign up for anything, right? So a custom buyer landing page doesn't work unless you got something specific and it could be about a neighborhood. Like if you really dump, you know, I don't mean a city, I mean like a neighborhood that you're really focused on. Maybe you created a video that shows, you know, that neighborhood, maybe it's waterfront properties. Maybe it's a golf course property, right? Maybe you focus on forest properties. Basically something really specific. And this has to do with getting buyer leads because the, the market knows they can get, they can go look at listings all day long, go to Zillow and all these other companies, right? So you're not going to have very great results when you create a custom landing page for buyers and, and go out there around that. Now we started the class running the ad for buyers right away. And I'm going to go show you one more time how to get buyers. First of all, if you don't have any listings in your account, you can use this button that says grab active listing. And if you have a colleague or a friend, maybe somebody in your office who will let you market their listing, you just put the zip code and the MLS ID for that property right here. And you say, this is not my listing. It's it's still going to generate leads only for you. And you click grab and that listing will populate right here. Okay. And at that point, you'll be able to run an ad for it. So I'm going to click on market listing here. Now we're running an ad in, in a different area, but you can do it right here with on market listing. It's the first thing we drop you on. And of course you could do it on the ads page, right? And it's pretty simple. Create an ad, right? It's, it will be done and. That's how easy it is to create a listing lead or, or I'm sorry, a, a lead for buyers, whether you're borrowing a listing or it's your own, it's really the fastest way and you're getting leads and they may vote for. I will tell you one more thing about this and I'm going to open it up for questions. Getting buyer leads used to be really, really easy. You run this kind of ad, it'd be really easy, but as you can imagine, there are a lot of buyers sitting on the fence because of interest rates. And, but, but you are also noticing that there are a lot of homes selling, right? So you're going to have to be maybe a little more, a little more inventive to make your ad work. Typically this ad used to work just like this, but very often there's something about the home that is not on this ad that you probably know, like 
I don't know, maybe the name of the high school is really a selling point, right? So type that in the app. Maybe there have been, you know, some new ones to the home, right? If we're not showing it here, just type it in like I am now before you run the ad and people will see that. Okay. This is true for either buyer, buyer ads or seller ads that these kinds of words can help get people to, to click. Okay. So any questions about what we talked about today? That's kind of our ads platform there. You can run an ad first thing on, it's on our marketing list, which we have so much here. Of course, if you go to the ads page, I do want to remind you that the new Google ads platform is there and you're welcome to use, to, to use that. I, and I, and I'm going to kind of repeat that I, I showed you earlier because I want you to think about this search here. So right now trending on Google. These three keywords, sell my home, are a trending search, which really means something that if you think about it, it's really telling and it's very important for all of you as realtors. People don't have realtors in mind. If they did, they would be calling that realtor. All right. So they're going to the number one search engine in the country and they're saying, how do I sell my home? Right. And if you're not on page one of Google, you might not even, it may not, you know, be worth it for you to even be on the internet. So by running an ad, you and your resources can be right here on page one of Google. And that's why Google ads are so important and valuable to a lot of different businesses, but certainly as you, as a, as a realtor, they're going to be there. So I would definitely take the time to learn how to use that create your Google ad account for your business, do all that stuff, because that's just going to be helpful. A lot of people know that Google ads can be far more valuable. They know they're more expensive, but they're more valuable leads. Any questions on anything that I've discussed here today, or do you have any questions in general? Well, I'm not seeing any, so thanks for joining me today and definitely get in the mastermind group, go down to the support page, get in the mastermind group and let them know to get you in there. And I definitely recommend using our Google platform. And I'll, and I'll tell you this, it does cost $30 a month just to access that system. You get some really great leads from that. So it's worth using. It's worth really understanding. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.